am Tricia, an organic gardener. Beneficial insects are a key part of organic gardening. Today I'm going to plant a hedgerow to attract beneficial insects to the orchard. Beneficial insects like ladybugs, lacewings, predatory beetles, parasitic wasps, and surfid flies will all eat pollen and nectar, but they'll also eat the pest insects in your garden. If you want those beneficial insects to stick around, you need to have a habitat for them. And studies have shown that in an insectary planting, the good bugs outnumber the bad bugs three to one. And that's exactly the opposite if you were to find a weedy patch. Beneficials are somewhat picky. Not any flowers will do. They are particularly fond of umbel flowers like dill, California buckwheat, carrot, and yarrow. Clovers, alyssum, and nasturtiums are some favorites. Check out what plants that are native to your area could be a beneficial insect, habitat, or a source of nectar. Those plants are easy to grow too because they're already adapted to your area and they will attract native beneficial insects as well. Wildflower mixes are great options for hedgerows. The best hedgerow has plants that have a varied structure, different flower types, and different sizes. There are several different ways that you can incorporate a hedgerow into your garden. They can be interplanted as companion plants, planted in strips, or planted on the borders of your garden or orchard. I'm going to plant a hedgerow on my orchard border. And hedgerows generally work better when they're planted in strips rather than interplanted in clumps. I'll be planting the Good Bug Blend, which was mixed specifically to attract beneficial insects and give them a good habitat. It blooms six to 10 months out of the year, and I'm gonna mix it with some native wildflowers. To plant this mix, I need to prepare the seed bed. Some of the seeds are very small, so I'll make sure that my area is finely graded. To get proper coverage, you're gonna divide your seed into two equal parts, no matter how much you're going to sow. Mix your seed with a one-to-one -one ratio of perlite or some other inert material like builder sand. Cover the entire area with seed, either using a hand seeder or broadcasting by hand. Now, mix the other half the same way and make one more pass. This will ensure you don't have any bare spots. After seeding, just tamp down the soil with a board or a lawn roller, or just add some compost. So just water your seed, welcome the beneficial insects when they arrive, and grow organic for life. <laughs>